Brad Patico is one of Belize's most prolific songwriters and musicians. A few weeks ago, he welcomed us to his home in Burgoon Village and showcased some of the various plants around his yard. During our visit, Patico told us about the circumstances that have led him to have an appreciation for life with all its ups and downs. One central focus of his life is his relationship with God. Patico, who has been an advocate of keeping the Creole culture and traditions alive, is well known for his folk music and, true to form, he treated our team to musical performances and shared the creative process behind some of his well-known songs. We will have all that for you after we hear from our partners, the Barry, Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, and Minister Kevin Bernard. Let the Bari be your store of choice. When you're looking for the latest in electronics and accessories, be sure to visit us. At the Bari, we have a wide assortment of household items to choose from. Dress in style, we have clothing for the entire family and so much more. Visit our store on Albert Street in Belize City, San Pedro La Isla Bonita, Park Street in Orange Walk Town, and San Ignacio Santa Elena. The Bari. Buy more, pay less. In Belize, the Blue Economy plays a crucial role in driving sustainable economic development and marine conservation. The Blue Economy now looks at the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, to improve livelihoods and to ensure that jobs are created while we ensure that the health of the ocean and the ocean ecosystem is preserved. How does this really differ from our traditional sectors is that the blue economy approach now integrates a multi-sectoral approach and the past traditional sectors focused on sector-specific development. Under the Blue Economy umbrella, several industries and sectors contribute to sustainable economic development and marine conservation. We have industries such as tourism, industries such as fisheries, marine transportation, to name a few. We also have new, new sectors that we're looking at such as offshore renewable energy, such as aquaculture or mariculture, deep sea mining, and marine biotechnology, to name a few. For Belize, we are a country with heavy reliance on our coastal and ocean resources. And we believe that the development of these areas would definitely contribute to the socio-economic growth of our country and our people. The Blue Economy Unit plays a crucial role in driving Belize's transition to a more sustainable and resilient coastal economy. The Blue Economy Unit, and by extension, the Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, has developed its Blue Economy Development Policy, Strategy, and Implementation Plan, which was la launched last year and briefly touches on the need for targeted and innovative research that would inform the development of offshore renewable energy and other sectors, of course. By incorporating climate change consideration into its strategies and working closely with coastal communities, the Blue Economy Unit aims to mitigate the effects of climate change on livelihoods and promote resilience. The Blue Economy works with coastal communities to mitigate the effects of climate change on the marine environment and their livelihoods through various strategies and initiatives. I can speak specifically of the FAO implemented project that the Ministry is currently working on and that's entitled Enhancing Adaptation Planning and Increasing Climate Resilience in the Coastal Zone and Fisheries Sector. Through that project, we have emphasized community engagement, participation, and social cohesion 
in climate change adaptation and resilience efforts. The concept of the blue economy is closely aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, as it contributes to several key goals and targets. The blue economy contributes to achieving several SDGs in Belize, and it plays a key role in advancing these goals, such as SDG 14, which is life below water. It does this by promoting the sustainable use and conservation of marine resources. It also promotes SDG 1 and SDG 8 to reduce poverty and promote economic growth by creating employment opportunities and supporting livelihoods in coastal communities. It also contributes to SDG 5, which is gender equality by promoting women's empowerment and inclusivity in coastal communities. It promotes SDG 16, which is peace and justice um, and strong institutions. The blue economy really promotes inclusive and participatory governance in coastal resource management. It encourages community involvement engagement with local stakeholders and the establishment of real transparent and accountable institutions which leads to fostering strong governance. For many years the people of Tain Pan Ridge have been promised the paving of their main road as under the UDP, they could only imagine the possibility. One leader stands apart, ready to make a difference. After years of disappointment, the Honorable Kevin Bernard is a true leader who keeps his promises. Today, we are proud to announce a momentous occasion, the commencement of the pavement of the Time Pine Ridge Road. Thanks to the unwavering dedication of the Government of Belize and the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing, this it's Plan Belize in action. Together, we are transforming our community one road at a time. Join us on this journey of progress and prosperity. Plan Belize. Together, we're building a brighter future. Celebration time! Welcome to Belize Watch. And this evening, we're going to talk with Cousin Dietra once again. Cousin Dietra, it's nice talking to you once again and nice having you here. We are still at Brad's place, right? Thank you for the honor. Yes. Still with Cousin Brad. <laughs> still with Cousin Brad's. And we'll talk with Cousin Brad Patico. I want to come with this cousin thing, you know. <laughs> Everybody that cousin, you know. You meet this one, the cousin. You meet that one. Since I've been with Dietra, man, I've gained more cousins than I <laughs> Same thing with me. I found out so many cousins and uncles and aunts and relatives that, 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 uh, in, in that first show that we did, Brad. It's good to know that um, we are linked up somehow and sometimes we wonder why, uh, you know, the people that we have met as friends, why, you know, we are so attracted to them and be close to them and, you know, but we never know that way back there was this relationship, you know, that we now find out uh, is so close and uh, I, I honor the fact that Dietra came here to give us all this information and, and to kind of open our eyes to who is who. Why and I thank God that my wife that she may come. <laughs> Well, you know, brother, smoothly we'll have, and that's important indeed. Smoothly, smoothly we have to ask Dita to identify how come all of us are connected, you, me, and she, if you want to put that way, or you, she, and me, or whatever you want to say. Yeah. From the gillets. Yes. That's to that's that's re re establish that. Yes. It's a, gillet, it's a gillet connection. Gillet connection. Frederick Gillet um, was married to Margaret Smith. That's right. Um, his children were William, Frederick, Margaret, there's a Margaret Gillett there. Yeah. Um, I'm forgetting a few, so forgive Mina. me. Minna, that's right. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, mm, forgive me. Yes, that's, that's okay. That's okay. The, the fact is that you're, you're right in what you're saying. That's how we are related. Um, Margaret Gillett um, is, and Frederick Gillett are our 
grandparents, right? And now how does Patiko, how do you end up being Patiko? <laughs> Mr. Brad can answer. <laughs> <laughs> Brad. Well, well, the thing is, my mother, yeah, my mother was a Gillette. Yeah. yeah? My dad was a Patiko. Yeah. So that's so I come for be Patiko. Patiko, Patiko, no. Related to Jill? No. <laughs> you got me. You got me on that one, really, because that's true. That's true. The Patiko, they never related to Jill, but Patiko get related to Jill through the Jill part of the Patiko family. You understand me? Yeah, yeah that's the complicated that's a, part. That's you know? the beauty of Creole, you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What time I started from Detroit, so the whole ability is related, but um, we will. <laughs> we will um, Detroit, what do what you want to enlighten me? Because what we're going to do on this particular show is to talk to a bit about Brads and talk to Brads, um, clarify how you clarified from your family tree and that, and, and, and that kind of thing. And um, also listen to some of his music because, as you know, he's an outstanding artist. You know, I, I, I will venture to say among the best. You know, uh, song by us, right? So what is the first song you're going to play for us right now? Uh, well, let me, let me go back to when I was about 13 years. The first song I recorded on Radio Belize, as it was in those days. I remember Mac Moreno was the, um, mm -hmm. was the technician. And at 13 years, you wouldn't have been around then, I don't yeah. think. No, no, you wouldn't have been there, yeah. But I recorded the song. <laughs> Fox went out one chilly night, he played to the moon to give him light. Many miles to go that night before he reached the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Many miles to go that night before he reached the town, oh. He ran till he came to a great big pen where the ducks and the geese were kept there in couple ago and we slight in for I reach this town oh the town oh town oh couple of you gonna grease my chin before I leave this town oh He ran till he came to a great big pen where the ducks and the geese were kept therein. Said a couple of you gonna grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Couple of you gonna grease my chin before I leave this town, oh. I remember that song. Yeah, and that's where I got it. You know, because I love fun time. I remember, who was it? Who was it that presented uh, Cynthia Henry? We had? Henry was one, we had but they had before, had before her. Clara, Clara, you had, yeah, and you had others before, before yeah, her as well. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, after that, then I got into like different kind of music. My, my, my thing for Creole was a passion. So I remember going to church and I was concerned about how am I going to relate, uh, you know, my broke down style to the church because the church is not that style. And I remember I was scared when I wrote the first Christian song to play in church, but I, I did this one. Well, I don't know if you get to know why I love me Jesus so when I snore in my bed at night he take care of me till daylight. I want to trust him, truly trust him, so I could prove the words he gave. He make a promise, great big promise. Though I dead, I still go and live. He could guide you on through the Bible. You must feed upon his words. Waste no time and be not idle. Do your weak his grace affords. I want to trust him, truly trust him. Through the words he gave. He make a promise, great big promise. Though I dead, I still go and live. The 
that's a part of it. Yes, I'm, fam I'm familiar with that song. I, I can remember we used to, we used to play that a lot and even when we used to hang out together and, 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 and what have you. Let's start, so where were you born, Brad? I, I know, but then you, I want to hear it for you and how you, and how you grew up. Burl Boom, happiness reminisced with a sweeping broom, that place of health you need no wealth, for nature serves as life's mouth. We learn to love with a merciless trap that made us aware of life's eventful plot. That's Burl Boom for you, my brother. Well said, brothers. Well said, proud of you. So impressive, my brother. But you are always impressive, brothers. You know? <laughs> now, growing up in Burl Boom, what was it like? And, and, and how long you know me, brothers? Uh, from a tender age, from a tender age, I remember, you know, it dates back to when we, we used to ride up to Borough Boom on a bicycle, mm -hmm. you know, and Rene, you can recall those days, you know what I mean, that, um, yeah, and Rene and I go, go back into when I was going into high school in Belize, Belize Technical College, and I stayed there on F F Freedom Road, what, what number, 55? 33, 33 Freedom Road, yeah. And um, we roomed together and uh, had several friends of ours together. As a matter of fact, David Connolly, I can remember, and then there were two other guys. And uh, this, was, this was just a wonderful time of family and everybody, you know. Yeah. But, but what led to all, 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 the, all, the, all the, the, the belief in God, the, 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 the Christian songs, and to compose in that song? Because that song is so good, I think it should be in a hymn book somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was the coming to myself. This, because I had a prodigal time in my life, right? But there was also the coming to myself. And when I came back here to Burl Boom Village after the raid of these issue and everything, and I came back, I started. Well, I lasted at Radio Belize, by the way. Uh, three years was was uh, yeah. That that's the beginning, but the it, the career never ended there, because I was also doing uh, what do you what a personality show uh, for the Governor General at the time, who was Dame Anita Gordon, mm -hmm. and she had asked to do a program about herbs of Belize, mm -hmm. and I went into the fields. That that's what got me interest, interested then in uh, doing not only the herbs of Belize, but finding out Creole stories, and also, um, which I shared with Ronald Clark, mm -hmm. who was a part of a program, yeah, the late Ronald Clark, and um, also getting um, the folk songs, mm -hmm. which I later traveled length and breadth of Belize to collect, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. What it became folk songs. Yeah. You also did an, an, an album with, of, of songs by Sir Colville Young, Yes. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think you might have done two. Yeah, actually, we did the um, old fashioned Christmas, the um, comic could bring back the old fashioned Christmas, and then neighbor get up, this is done, and you know. Neighbor get up, this is another Christmas morning. All right, no get too excited. <laughs> Christmas just gone. Yeah, right, right, right. So we're waiting until we still play the one. <laughs> All right, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, as I said, you know, my relationship developed after an incident. My relationship with God developed after an incident where I nearly lost my life. I was coming home from school one afternoon with my brothers, and one of the brothers saw a cashew. And he said, Boy, the cashew, they look pretty. And I could have outrun two of them. So I run head boy and leap for the cashew, and while I leap for the cashew, I never know my brother, I'm pick up one piece of pimenta, if stone down the cashew and catch my head instead. And <laughs> I remember, boy, I spun around about three times, dropped on the ground, Mr. Alfred Budd um, came along on a horse, he was passing by at the same time, put me on his horse and took me to the village nurse at the time, Miss um, Florine Humphreys. And she fixed me up one kind of way, put the band, no kind of stitch now, nothing, you know. I remember two weeks afterwards, I had to push my finger in on my head side. Push my finger nearly down to the, 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 <laughs> the first joint, right? The clean out prementa. Why, that not sound gross. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, Why, yeah, that's kind of gross. You, you know a song about that? <laughs> <laughs> Taking prementa out my head. Yeah, 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 and I still think I have prementa in on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Wednesday. That evening I went to what we call prayer and ministry meeting. Mm -hmm. 
at uh, or Bethany Chapel here in Burl Boom. And uh, there was a man from Jamaica, Roy Campbell, and he was bringing the message uh, or the ministering to us that evening. And I felt a need for something deeper, a deeper relationship with God. So I accepted his son, Jesus Christ. And that made a difference in my life yeah. to this day. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to hear you say that, Brad, because, you know, I, I, I don't think we want to go into that problem part of, of your life, but I'm, I, 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 which we know, so we won't go down that, that road, but I was happy when, when, when you made that change. Yeah. And it affected me in many different ways. As, as a matter of fact, the, the, the prodigal son story meant a lot to me that I wrote a song. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. came to himself he said I will arise to my father I'll go hired servants of my father have bread I'm no more worthy to be called his son there were two sons not long ago this parable is told the younger one had made his plans to leave his father's fold and when he came to himself he said I will arise to my father I'll go Hired servants of my father have bread. I'm no more worthy to be called his son. Ooh. He had his father's hand of love stretched forth to him his share. He packed his things and he walked away to a country very far. And when he came to himself, he said, I will arise to my father, I'll go. Hired servants of my father have bread. I'm no more worthy to be called his son. Ooh. And like this, like this part now. Friends, he frowned, the flopped around till all he had was gone. He went for a job to feed some hogs, had nothing left to pawn. And when he came to himself, he said, I will arise to my father, I'll go. Hired servants of my father have bread. I'm no more worthy to be called his son. Ooh. With loneliness and hunger, his senses had returned. I will repent that I was wrong. I'm no more worthy to be called your son. When he came to himself, he said, I will arise to my father, I'll go. Hired servants of my father have bread. I'm no more worthy to be called his sons. father had compassion on all that he had done he never wronged him but he gave the best unto his son when he came to himself he said will arise to my father I'll go hired servants of my father have bread I'm no more worthy to be called his son well the older brother he came from the field he heard what was going on his jealousy brought anger, but the father told his son, you are ever with me. All that I have is yours. We must celebrate this happy day for your brother here was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he's found. He came to himself, he said, I will arise to my father, I'll go. A hired service of my father have bread. I'm no more worthy to be called his son.
know, Brad, sitting here with you and, 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 and reminiscing, because for me this is like walking down memory lane, because I happen to have been around when you, when you presented most of those songs that, that, that you do. Um, it, it really brings back some, 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 some great memories, right, Dietra? And um, maybe let, let's ask you to, to intervene at this point in time and, and give us your comments. There's a song that you wrote about Burl Boom that I get emotional every time I hear. You do? I do, but mm -hmm. it, it makes me cry. <laughs> What's the, the history behind that song? I, I think the one you're talking, because I wrote two songs, and that includes the logging and everything, what used to go on then, you know what I mean? The boom that's, you know, spanned across the river. And that's the older one, but I, I, you know, there's the other one that you're talking about. I'll do two of them, you know. You know. Okay. Let's hear it. Oh, do you remember the front pages of Boom? Truck men hauling timber, la good and botan. Seem not very long since the anchor and chain span Billy's old river and Boom got its name. Gather round now, little children, we'll sing you some more about Boom and its legends in the good days of yore. There were many old people who taught us our games. Jim Sebastian, Aunt Minna, don't forget Aunt Jane. Well, over the river where tide was a chain, lived a dear little lady, Betty Burrell by name. Gather round now, little children, we'll sing you some more about Boom and its legends in the good days of yore. Now sing me the song with the folk tales of boom and that in the words old hag and raccoon. You know Percy Jellet, the man of good faith. We shared Nancy stories some nights very late. Gather round now, little children, we'll sing you some more about boom and its legends in the good days of yore. To the freedom that claim this land, the name that we give from the work hand in hand. It satisfied most their experience shared. Take pride in my telling, I'm a burrell boom born. Gather round now, little children, we'll sing you some more about boom and its legends in the good days of yore. Gather round now, little children, we'll sing you some more about boom and its legends in the good days of yore. Wow. Bravo. There's one more song about Burl Boom. Oh, you want to get the other one as well. Okay, let's, let's uh, one, he, he, And he did say two, right? He did yes. say he would do two. That one yes. brings about a change of heart. Yeah. Brad, you know, you're an artist second to none, you know, so let's... Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rene. Yeah, you should, should Hearing yeah. that from my great cousin, you know, I mean, make a feel better. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Brad. <laughs> you know you're good. When we come back, Brad Patico will continue entertaining us with more music. We need to step aside to hear a word from our partners. The Barry, Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, and Minister Kevin Bernard. Let the Bari be your store of choice. When you're looking for the latest in electronics and accessories, be sure to visit us. At the Bari, we have a wide assortment of household items to choose from. Dress in style, we have clothing for the entire family and so much more. Visit our store on Albert Street in Belize City, San Pedro La Isla Bonita, Park Street in Orange Walk Town, and San Ignacio Santa Elena. Debari, buy more, pay less. In Belize, the blue economy plays a crucial role in driving sustainable economic development and marine conservation. The blue economy now looks at the sustainable 
use of ocean resources for economic growth, to improve livelihoods, and to ensure that jobs are created while we ensure that the health of the ocean and the ocean ecosystem is preserved. How does this really differ from our traditional sectors is that the blue economy approach now integrates a multi-sectoral approach and the past traditional sectors focused on sector specific development. Under the blue economy umbrella, several industries and sectors contribute to sustainable economic development and marine conservation. We have industries such as tourism, industries such as fisheries, marine transportation, to name a few. We also have new, new sectors that we're looking at such as offshore renewable energy, such as aquaculture or mariculture, deep sea mining and marine biotechnology to name a few. For Belize, we are a country with heavy reliance on our coastal and ocean resources. And we believe that the development of these areas would definitely contribute to the socio-economic growth of our country and our people. The Blue Economy Unit plays a crucial role in driving Belize's transition to a more sustainable and resilient coastal economy. The Blue Economy Unit, and by extension, the Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, has developed its Blue Economy Development Policy, Strategy and Implementation Plan, which was la launched last year and briefly touches on the need for targeted and innovative research that would inform the development of offshore renewable energy and other sectors, of course. By incorporating climate change consideration into its strategies and working closely with coastal communities, the Blue Economy Unit aims to mitigate the effects of climate change on livelihoods and promote resilience. The Blue Economy works with coastal communities to mitigate the effects of climate change on the marine environment and their livelihoods through various strategies and initiatives. I can speak specifically of the FAO implemented project that the Ministry is currently working on and that's entitled Enhancing Adaptation Planning and Increasing Climate Resilience in the Coastal Zone and Fisheries Sector. Through that project, we have emphasized community engagement, participation and social cohesion in climate change adaptation and resilience efforts. The concept of the Blue Economy is closely aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, as it contributes to several key goals and targets. The Blue Economy contributes to achieving several SDGs in Belize and it plays a key role in advancing these goals, such as SDG 14, which is life below water, it does this by promoting the sustainable use and conservation of marine resources. It also promotes SDG 1 and SDG 8 to reduce poverty and promote economic growth by creating employment opportunities and supporting livelihoods in coastal communities. It also contributes to SDG 5, which is gender equality by promoting women's empowerment and inclusivity in coastal communities. It promotes SDG 16, which is peace and justice um, and strong institutions. The Blue Economy really promotes inclusive and participatory governance in coastal resource management. It encourages community involvement, engagement with local stakeholders, and the establishment of real, transparent, and accountable institutions, which leads to fostering strong governance. For many years, the people of Tyne Pine Ridge have been promised the paving of their main road, as under the UDP, they could only imagine the possibility. One leader stands apart, ready to make a difference. After years of disappointment, the Honorable Kevin Bernard is a true leader who keeps his promises. Today, we are proud to announce a momentous occasion 
the commencement of the pavement of the Tyne Pine Ridge Road. Thanks to the unwavering dedication of the Government of Belize and the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing. This is Plan Belize in Action. Together, we are transforming our community one road at a time. Join us on this journey of progress and prosperity. Plan Belize. Together, we're building a brighter future. Celebration time! Sit around here thinking about my place in Barrel Boom. I had good neighbors and friends drop by if only for a day or two. I cherish those good memories of the people that I knew. And I thank God, my Father in heaven, for the day that I met you. Getting up in the morning to the rooster crowing, what a feeling to have. Woo I wash my face in an enamel basin while the fried jacks were frying through. I picked two eggs from the chicken coop while singing birds set the mood. I sat down for food, thank God it was good, living in this neighborhood. Burrell Boom, put on your smiling face, this song's for you. The river still runs, the trees still bloom, and the sun still shines on you. show you what I'm singing about <laughs> cause I thank God he brought me here to enjoy what he's all about from the spit in the dirt he opened my eyes to enjoy a glimpse of earth this portion he gave in this village I live I love and cherish until I die and see the good he's done there are brighter days that can come your way god knows i'm glad to be your native son Fantastic performance, brads. And do I have it correct if I would say that that would be that's the style of um, Johnny Cash? <laughs> More or less. Johnny Cash was one of my heroes, man. I mean, you know, he, uh, you know, my mentors, um, Johnny Cash, Bob Dylan style. You know, um, who was it again? James Taylor. You know, all these guys. You know, they 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 were a part of Charlie Pride. my yeah my coming into what I'm. You know, the style which I'm. Working with, you know what I mean? Yeah. But not beat the Brooklyn style of it, I tell you. Sure. I don't know which one I need to do that. No, no, only, only Brad to them. No, <laughs> no Charlie Brad. I'm just talking about this, the, the, the source of inspiration. You, you know that Johnny Cash song, Ring of Fire? a burning thing, a 
and it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desires I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down and the flames went higher and it burns, burns, burns the ring of fire the ring of fire mm. Burns, burn the ring of fire, the ring of fire. This says this the taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. <clears throat> I fell for you like a child. Oh, the fire went wild. I fell into a burn. Fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire, yes, it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Well done, Michaels. I, you know, I t tell you the best, man. You know, um, I enjoy that ring of fire. I, I, all, your, all the songs you do, Brad. I mean, just just to hear you sing, it's a privilege, right? Yes, <laughs> we, we got our own uh, private concert. <laughs> for, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for sharing those songs with us. The real thing, yes. right? Brock Knox. <laughs> A hell of a time the Pomona Valley when they whop me so sharp with electric wire. Hell of a time the Pomona Valley when stamp whop sharp with electric wire. Pose me so sharp with a dry gun. Stamp with a run till it tumble down. Pose me so sharp with a dry gun. Stamp with a run till it tumble down. Run me so sharp, run me so sharp. Stamp they come with electric wire. Run me so sharp, run me so sharp. Stamp they come with electric. Who could I get for everything but no? on more but you know we, it, it, it's just beautiful to have a, beautiful a little it, yeah it, it, it's a historical song but you because know, that you're not actually happen yeah right and you remember we had stop stuff. working with us <laughs> <laughs> yeah stuff I, that did the, the, the I, I usually tell the story about stamp stamp used to be the the caretaker right the, the, don't say the, the watchman the watchman, watchman don't say yes. and anytime i go if you go to work party go where your id there yes <laughs> the man i don't know if he used to uh, harass you like that but not really for some reason stop never harass me much as well, far as i remember you know the thing is i wonder if it's always man, good to me i mean the wonder if the man never knew me every time i come there you know <laughs> that's the different conclusion right? could be because sometimes maybe i look like cowboy next time i look like ragamuffin, ragamuffin no yeah <laughs> <laughs> but the same stuff that that, that did the i, I think he, 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 he told us that story too if I, um, if yeah. I, yeah, if, if I can recall yeah, sure. correctly i can yes. recall listening to that story by he him he said he said it was a situation where they never pay uh -huh. I, I, and, and you know people like that they want their money in time they have their plan set because they have commissary for pay yeah. you remember them days i mean commissary days you know and like they had to pay their bills you know you so trust everything from the commissary and then they have to pay the bills. right right i remember the area where my dad worked with sharp 
in those days, you know. Mr. Sharp. Yeah, yeah, you met Sharp, right? Yeah, I, um, I remember going to, to Caves Ranch and, uh, you know, I went into some of the areas where they grew the cacao and they used banana. And I, the only reason why I visited me, no one know cacao, they had the, the made banana there. I mean, the, the banana where no, I'll put this word now, chemicalized. You ever hear about chemicalized banana? That's the one we eat right now. But anyway, then there's the, there were no chemicals. I agree. So Detroit, you, know, you knew that story about um, the, 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 the electric wire and stuff? I, all I heard was that there was some mistreatment with uh, pay, uh, uh, but I did not know in detail from your first-hand account of what happened. Mm -hmm. But of course, in the song, you explain what had happened. Yeah. Yes. But it was, a, it was a big deal, you know. I, I don't think the shops are really mind you. The song, because the song came out so many years ago, it's almost like an old folk um, tradition, yes. you know, um, song, right? This song, um, you know, I want to do this song called Donkey Calf. Donkey? What? Donkey? donkey calf. When you hear Donkey Calf, no, thank you. Have you. you know, um, just this morning, um, Deidre and I went to the baboon sanctuary. Okay. You know, she wanted to take a picture of the <laughs> one of the hollow monkeys, right? And um, and it dawned on me. I said, you know, it, it would be good to to sing a song when you hear monkey yawn, you know, uh, instead of when you hear donkey cough. But you know, this song was written just before COVID. This donkey cough, and it's almost prophetic, Rennie, when you listen to it. It was because it was written. Um, my wife uh, went to a doctor. And the doctor kind of scared my wife. He tell her he was sick with something. And she gone and get tested. And she was kind of worried during that time. But God gave me a piece about it. And I, 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 I wanted to tell her, but I could not go and tell her that, look, I have a piece about this. There's nothing wrong with you. You know, uh, I left it until the results came back. And um, it, uh, it came back as benign. Mm -hmm. So I realized, well, what I was convinced of was true. But one morning when I was going to the sink to do the dishes in Napanee, when my wife was over in um, Chicago, mm -hmm. as, as I got to the thing, when you hear donkey cough, nothing kid have fever, that, that never made no sense to me. I said, okay, cool. you know, and I, I consult with my God, right? And I thought, I said, Lord, where is when you're the conference? Or what do you mean by when you're, when you hear donkey cough, not thinking they have fever? And I went to pen the song. So I started off. <laughs> Donkey calf, no thinky they have fever. <laughs> when you get sick, no think that you did they are. <laughs> when you hear donkey calf, no thinky they have fever. When you get sick, no think that you did they are. Mm. Sometimes in life, God put you to the test. If you see if you know that he that the one healer. Sometimes in life, God put me to the test. Face if, if we know that He that the one He loves. When you hear donkey cough, not think it is a fever. When you get sick, not think that you did it. <laughs> when you hear donkey cough, not think it is a fever. When you get sick, not think that you did it. <laughs> Listen to me. When life throw lemons, just make your lemonade. When the days get hot, 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 just walk in the shade. When life throw lemons, just make your lemonade, yeah. When the days get hot, hot, 
I just walk in the shade. You bet. When you hear donkey cough, nothing give me a fever. Come on, Renee. When you get sick, nothing that you did they have. Come on, you got it. When you hear donkey cough, nothing give me a fever. Um, when you get sick, nothing that you did they have. Now listen. When days are dark, they say your friends are few. But you must remember it could be dark for them too. When days are dark, say your friends are few. Very few. But you must remember it could be dark for them too. That's why they're not going to visit you. Yes, for them too. <laughs> nothing you be happy fever. When you get sick, nothing that you did they are. When you hear donkey cough, nothing kid a fever. When you get sick, nothing that you did they are. So when you hear donkey cough, something say you got fever. Right? Yes. Yeah. Because they not met not there yet. No, but I you know, I when, when I made to try to relate that to, you know, when you go up on one plane and you hear somebody say they will cough. <laughs> Especially around COVID time, boy, hmm, you to try to clear space. You know what I mean? Yeah, because immediately you think that well, uh, you know. COVID. Yeah, yeah, the COVID they come. What they appear to be. May not be what they appear to be. You know, you 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 jump to conclusions. But it might not be what you are exactly. thinking, yeah. you know, you, you, you know, that's, that's, what you're, that's what you're saying there. Mm -hmm. Dita, your interpretation. That was it. Don't that's jump it. to conclusions. Yeah, don't jump to conclusions. Yep. Right. Yep. You know? Yep. That, that, that's, that's a message. But in, but in a Creole way. Yeah. <laughs> and Creole songs so good, not too well. Yes, yes, yes. We can relate to it from our um, storytelling. And Creole is very direct and to the point. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, 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 you speak Creole in, 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 in the U.S. or sometimes? That's something I need to work on, is speaking Creole. Yeah. You know, from a young age, um, it was suppressed. If you had an accent, it was frowned down upon. Mm -hmm. And in school, we were constantly corrected on how to speak proper English. Yeah. So as an adult, um, my mission is to, to start speaking Creole. Yeah. Yes. We don't bust off in a Creole already, so it feels so good for talking in a Creole. So make me do our next Creole song then, Brad. Which yeah. one you have to know? Um, I mean, you know, yes, you, you, you're the change of Motagan? Because, know, I change, <laughs> because know, they call it harmonica. In other parts of the world, they call it harmonica, harmonica. Uh, but we call it Motagan. We will wrap up our visit with Brad Patico after we hear from our partners the Barry, Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, and Minister Kevin Bernard. <laughs> Let the Bari be your store of choice. When you're looking for the latest in electronics and accessories, be sure to visit us. At the Bari, we have a wide assortment of household items to choose from. Dress and style, we have clothing for the entire family and so much more. Visit our store on Albert Street in Belize City, San Pedro La Isla Bonita, Park Street in Orange Walk Town, and San Ignacio Santa Elena. The Bari. Buy more, pay less. In Belize, the blue economy plays a crucial role in driving sustainable economic development and marine conservation. The blue economy now looks at the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, to improve livelihoods and to ensure that jobs are created while we ensure that the health of the ocean and the ocean ecosystem is preserved. How does this really differ from our traditional sectors is that the blue economy approach now integrates a multi-sectoral approach and the past traditional sectors focused on sector-specific development. Under the Blue Economy umbrella, several industries and sectors contribute to sustainable economic development and marine conservation. We have industries such as tourism, industries such as fisheries, marine transportation, to name a few. We also have new, new sectors that we're looking at.
such as offshore renewable energy, such as aquaculture or mariculture, deep sea mining, and marine biotechnology, to name a few. For Belize, we are a country with heavy reliance on our coastal and ocean resources. And we believe that the development of these areas would definitely contribute to the socioeconomic growth of our country and our people. The Blue Economy Unit plays a crucial role in driving Belize's transition to a more sustainable and resilient coastal economy. The Blue Economy Unit, and by extension, the Ministry of Blue Economy and Civil Aviation, has developed its Blue Economy Development Policy, Strategy, and Implementation Plan, which was la launched last year and briefly touches on the need for targeted and innovative research that would inform the development of offshore renewable energy and other sectors, of course. By incorporating climate change consideration into its strategies and working closely with coastal communities, the Blue Economy Unit aims to mitigate the effects of climate change on livelihoods and promote resilience. The Blue Economy works with coastal communities to mitigate the effects of climate change on the marine environment and their livelihoods through various strategies and initiatives. I can speak specifically of the FAO implemented project that the Ministry is currently working on and that's entitled Enhancing Adaptation Planning and Increasing Climate Resilience in the Coastal Zone and Fisheries Sector. Through that project, we have emphasized community engagement, participation and social cohesion in climate change adaptation and resilience efforts. The concept of the Blue Economy is closely aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, as it contributes to several key goals and targets. The Blue Economy contributes to achieving several SDGs in Belize, and it plays a key role in advancing these goals, such as SDG 14, which is life below water. It does this by promoting the sustainable use and conservation of marine resources. It also promotes SDG 1 and SDG 8 to reduce poverty and promote economic growth by creating employment opportunities and supporting livelihoods in coastal communities. It also contributes to SDG 5, which is gender equality by promoting women's empowerment and inclusivity in coastal communities. It promotes SDG 16, which is peace and justice um, and strong institutions. The Blue Economy really promotes inclusive and participatory governance in coastal resource management. It encourages community involvement engagement with local stakeholders and the establishment of real transparent and accountable institutions which leads to fostering strong governance. For many years the people of Tang Pine Ridge have been promised the paving of their main road as under the UDP, they could only imagine the possibility. One leader stands apart, ready to make a difference. After years of disappointment, the Honorable Kevin Bernard is a true leader who keeps his promises. Today, we are proud to announce a momentous occasion, the commencement of the pavement of the Time Pine Ridge Road. Thanks to the unwavering dedication of the Government of Belize and the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing, this it's Plan Belize in action. Together, we are transforming our community one road at a time. Join us on this journey of progress and prosperity. Plan Belize. Together, we're building a brighter future. Celebration time! It don't matter what part of the jewel they come from. You da you and me da me. But guess what? All are we the one. I remember the man used to sing a lot and but he was very expressive with the songs. But then he said, This is the one that he did 
that talked about um, one of the songwriters that was a, was a German. And the, the name comes up in the song, and uh, what he used to do, he used to walk around Belize with a jabon of an asp on the head. Mm -hmm. And um, if I can ask my friend over there if he could get a jabon, make a show people what a jabon look like, you know what I mean? That would have been really. Jabon of a jabon of a donkey, you could say that too, right? Or, or, yeah, donkey <laughs> jabon, you know. Pass is jabon. But um, so uh, this guy was Alonzo Schultz, right? And um, yeah, you could show it to the audience, yeah, right? Yeah. That, 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 you Rocky rake and scrape, yeah, yeah, yeah right, and rattles. Uh, it, uh, uh, Peter's Bumanchaim had one of those, mm -hmm. and he had a very good jabon player. We have one guy from um, Flowers Bank, um, let's call him Squanty, uh, Mr. Robinson, don't worry, but I know, yeah, uh, um, Anthony Robinson, yeah, I think it is, yeah, and he plays for me in the, that's so you go folk ensemble, right? But that's the jawbone. And um, this, guy, teeth and rattle. this guy talks about an incident that happened in his life. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I can explain it better if you listen to the song, right? Let's go. <laughs> Me but not tear me, for I be a soldier of hell. Put a feather in a rat bad tail, you put Lord Hawk in a hell. Charm me but not tear me, for I be a soldier of hell. Put a feather in a rat bad tail, you put Lord Hawk in a hell. Wishing if I could die, my friend, I am on my way. By Obispo Jail, I am born. Charm me but not tear me, for I be a soldier of hell. You put a feather in a rat bad tail, you put Lord Hawk in a hell. Charm me but not tear me, for I be a soldier of hell. Put a feather in a rat bad tail, put Lord Hawk in a hell. Why should Alonzo moan when his home is far across the sea? Wishing if I could die, my friend, I am on my way by Obispo Jail, I am born. Listen to this part. Mr. Seely got one long mouth wife, he mouth run off like a sow. Oh, he got one long mouth wife, he mouth run off like a sow. Why should I learn some more? And he goes into that. But you know, that thing tells you that it was somebody that went and spilled the beans, as we call it, right? Mm, yeah, right. And this guy that caused him to go, and he says, why should Alonzo moan when his home is far across the sea? He was talking about Germany, right? Wishing if I could die, my friend, because he felt so bad. He was on his way by Obispo Jail, which was in Chetomal, Quintana exactly. Roo. And that was the jail, that was the jail that was, you know, jail to Belize too. Yep. We never had a jail in those days, okay? So that's it. There's a Pio Obispo. Chetamal was Pio Obispo before it became Chetamal. I think we, yeah. we, we should tell our folks that. I was away for about 13 years, and, uh, <laughs> and it wasn't 13 comfortable years mm. because of my love and the memory of my little Belize, you know, and Burl Boom specifically. But I must say that while I was there, I got together with musicians from over there, right? And they asked me to teach them this Brokdong rhythm. They wanted to know, you know, and we taught them how to play Brokdong. You know, my wife and I sing. Yeah, my wife and I used to sing, right? <laughs> so when we got to practicing and everything at home, we had a stand-up bass player, and then we had a banjo, a banjo, mandolin, and violin player. You know, he could play anything, you know. And then we had another guitarist and, uh, you know, that, that was more or less the band. And um, I taught them to play Brockdown. We went and we did two shows in Chicago, right? We were hired for two shows. So I feel like we kind of spread one day bitter. So I must play 
one of the music. This was this was our closing uh, tune okay. that we played for him. Song, but. Beautiful soul music. That's true Belizean Creole soul music there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Brad Patico. Belize, that is one, yeah. Because the rice and beans that hit your soul. Rice and beans, you know? nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had the opportunity of meeting with um, Cindy. Burgos and Leon Banks mm -hmm. yesterday, and we were jamming some of these songs, man. And you know, uh, when we got into rice and beans, uh, this was like <laughs> icing on the cake, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, it's on. is not nice. Creole must plant more beans and rice. Everything gone up in price. Creole must plant more beans and rice. On highs and people will meet you. By water lane they will greet you. They holla for a dollar but they're willing for a shilling to buy more beans and rice. They holla for a dollar but they're willing for a shilling to buy more beans and rice. The waiting tan, it's doggy dog in the land. The baby cry and the milk run out, it's no lie. Teenagers rebelling, cougars are swelling, but the young and the old must know nobody reap unless they sow. Starvation is not nice, Creel must plant more beans and rice. Everything gone up in price, Creel must plant more beans and rice. One hundred people will meet you, by water lane they will greet you. They holler for a dollar, but they're willing for a shilling to buy more beans and rice. A loaf of bread is just like pain in the head. Sometimes no meat, no conks or crayfish to eat. Teenagers rebelling, schoolgirls are swelling. But the young and the old must know nobody reap unless they sow. Starvation is not nice, Creole must plant more beans and rice. Everything gone up in price, Creole must plant more beans and rice. On highs and people will meet you, by water lane they will greet you. They holler for a dollar, but they're willing for a shilling to buy more beans and rice. The old folks tell, the bucket work with the well. But they also say, the bottom drop out one day. <laughs> Teenagers rebelling, and schoolgirls are swelling. But the young and the old must know nobody reap unless they sow. Renny, what I like about that song. You know, a, a, a lot of people say, oh, what do you mean schoolgirls are swelling? And I had to call Sir Colville about that also, you know. I said, Sir Colville, people they ask about the schoolgirls are swelling. Uh, and, uh, you know, people are of the opinion that the schoolgirls are pregnant. But it's not that. When we were growing up, my, my say, you're the swell up. You know, I mean that you're the gay. 
You de get vexed, you de get upset. Upset. I mean, you de get upset. Yeah, you de get. Yeah, no solo up on me. I've always admired Brad and his musical abilities. He's a musical genius, yes. right? A composer. He's also a performer, and he's also a, a recording artist. So he's, he's done so much, you know, for, for the, to keep Belizean music alive, and we have to preserve his, the, 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 his music. You know, and cherish his music and thank him loudly for, for, the, for the gift that he's given our country, which is a gift of music. But let me hear from you, Dietra, as you sit here. What, are, what thoughts are going through your mind? With such a gift that Belize has in Mr. Brad Patico, um, we as people need to cherish our artist. And Many times um, the Belize government will bring in foreign artists, but we have an abundance of talent right here within Belize. Mm -hmm. And with specifically the Brookdown music that Mr. Brad plays, there's not many Brookdown artists. Mm -hmm. So there's a need for cultural preservation um, with music. Mm -hmm. And of course funding towards preser preser um, preserving um, the, the music, the Brookdown music. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that we need to um, value our artists, such as Mr. Brad Patico, um, in documenting um, his work, his life, but also in um, making sure that our artists are, are, are taken care of. Uh, because I've spoken to many artists, and we should never hear that any of our artists are struggling. Yeah. Um, it, it should be something that we cherish, that we have on a pedestal with our, with our teachers. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of our history is not just through research or through oral history, a lot of it is through song. Yeah, exactly. And these songs, we're learning so much about our history. Um, and they identify, they identify, song identify you. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're a gym, Mr. Brad. I listened to what Dietra had to say just now, and um, you know, I can identify with uh, going around this country. A lot of times, it's not the money that moves the artist. The money will help the artists, but it does not move the artists. Um, I played a lot of charitable shows, and I mean, it was getting the music out there. I walked away without a penny. These were the sacrifices that we make. So. When it comes to like a situation that happened last year, I was invited to go to Cool Out in Cayman. And uh, I was invited to go and meet the movers and shakers of the music industry. I was gonna meet with the lawyers. Right. This information and everything that I would have gathered would have been brought back to Belize to help with our tourism, to help with our, our music industry and so that we can improve. I was denied the opportunity of getting sponsorship. And it was, and still is, sick. Now I realize that they are coming, the same people that we were asking to support this, to help Belize. They are coming to do a Belize music project. And they will need our help. They will need the help from the musicians in this country. I empathize with everything you have just said, you know, because I think we as Belizeans need to support our own fellow Belizeans more. Yeah, maybe have more concerts featuring Belizean artists, you know, and, and, and put our Belizean artists on the pedestal that they deserve to be. You know, I salute every Belizean artist in our country. You know, we have, we have a massive wealth of artists that are second to none in any part of the world. You know, I could take on anything for any part of the world. You yourself being one of them, right? So I can empathize with what you have just said. The support is needed for our, 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 our Belizean artists. Now, let's go to you again. And what are you going to do now? You're going to play something else for me, or? It looks like I really have forgot I get Riverside and dig some coconut. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so what you said, Brad, you're going? No, I left that alone. Take it again. 
remember the, um, you know, you have two songs that are special. Yeah. You know, the penguin joke me, and the the the, um, the fufu, the fast and my throat. You know. Let's interpret these songs for people who might just speak English. Mm -hmm. um, penguin is not the penguin that you that you that you see the, the bird, no. right? Yeah. Penguin is a penguin. I know, but, but people might say penguin. Penguin, penguin. What's a penguin? It's a prickle, right? Yeah, well, you know, this is a bromelia. Yeah. The plant itself is a bromelia. It yeah. grows like a pineapple. Yeah. And one of the unique features of this plant is that when you, when you look at one of the leaves, for example, the, the, the prongs, the, 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 um, the thorns or the maca, as the Jamaicans would call it, right? They are turned like they're, they're bent, like they're pushing forward, you know? They're bent out this way. But as you go back, slowly you see them start to turn and turn. So, yeah, you say, they call it the give and take plant, too. Give you know take, what I mean? You go in, they catch you, you haul yourself out, they grab you. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, that's it. That's it. That's the thing. And it bears these little um, finger like uh, pineapple tasting fruit. Um, that we call penguin, and they used to say, you, you know, if you don't know how to eat it, you get where we call like um, knife and fork in there because it cut your tongue. Yes. Now, I don't know what causes that, but um, we used to bite off the bottom part and spit that out and eat the rest of the thing, right? So, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Joke me, joke me all about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the fufu. The fufu is again. Fufu da ma. The uh, mixture, uh, planting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, some people said a ripe and green, they mix, you know what I mean? I make this yeah. thing called for here, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But um, what the song talks about is actually going to the riverside to go get these things. And I think why they were referring to the riverside, because it's fertile. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's a, a, um, uh, the, the flood or a rainy season, the water rises it leaves about an inch of silt that is very, very fertile. And people will go plant the eating side of the river, mm -hmm. you know, on, uh, you know, as long as it's a three month plant or something, you know, so. <laughs> Me truth. Make we no holla, why, why? Make we no ball, why, why? Make we no scream, why, why? For for the fast, me truth. Scream and I hear you say, Why, why, for for the fast, I'm a troll. All right. All right. Say, man, do penguin joke me, joke me all about. Let's go. I walked on my plantation, penguin, walk the lock, man. Can't walk the me flower, can't walk the atal. Can't walk the me flower, can't walk the me. Ping wing juk me, but last bite me, can't walk the atal. Ping wing juk me, mosquito bite me, can't walk the atal. Can't walk the me flower, can't walk the atal. Can't walk the me flower, can't walk the atal. Take me foot put on ya. Take me foot put on day. <laughs> Can't walk the me flower, Coco Black up the road. Can't walk the me flower, Coco Black up the road. Yeah. Oh, 
Bradford, very good. It's been an enjoyable afternoon here um, with you at your, at your ranch. What do you call this ranch again? It's going to be um, called by his grace. Mm -hmm. The reason being, um, you know, what you see here is by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. so by his grace. Yeah. Well, it's good to be here by his grace because that's what we are here, why we are here. And we are here by the grace of God indeed. And, and, and I like that name that you've selected. So congratulations. Uh, you, you, you have good taste, you know. It's, <laughs> I, I, I want to say, you know, Rene, my taste and everything, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it, it has to be spirit-led, man. You know, we were, just the other day, I'm traveling with my good friend Roy Bowen, coming from um, a church meeting in Gales Point, Manatee, and he asked for, he said, what is the difference between happiness and joy? And I said, look, happiness you could manufacture. You could go to one place and you could feel happy. But joy comes from within. Joy is a spirit movement that activates every part of your body to make you feel good. And that to me, that joy. Because it says the fruit of the spirit is love, joy. You know, it's a part of that thing of the Holy Spirit that gives us joy, right? Yes, sir. The fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. Right. right. Deidre, um, let's hear from you now. What a privilege to be here to discuss our history. And Mr. Brad, you covered the musical aspect and your life, your, your national treasure. Um, and I'm grateful that us family are here, <laughs> um, united and, and showing the world who we are. Yes. 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 The family affair, no? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brad's was sing that channel, Dietra. I wish I could. Oh, we had I can't go there again, but it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Oh, well. How oh, we go? How oh, we go? Remember, ready for it? Slide the family stone, but. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, um, Brad. Thank you so much, Dietra. Brad, your, your closing thoughts. Rene, I'm so grateful that you have started a program like this and it's still going. And I think a lot of the people of Belize are informed through this medium that we can, we can give them the information about the love of our country and the love of our people, how we operate and what we can do, how we can bless others. And I'm thinking basically of the schools. You know, my heart goes out to the, the, the children in schools of Belize that they need to hear uh, uh, or cultural songs, you know. They need to know that what you and Ava have said at the beginning of your program, that it's important to know your past, to see what's happening now, that from the past till now there have been changes, so it means that we are improving in life. And then there are other things that we look now to the future, and then not only to the future of the material things in life, but what will the future be of our souls? I'm concerned about that. I, I agree with, with Mr. Brad. I also am concerned. I'm not worried about our youth. I have trust in them. But it's our culture, the preservation of our culture that's my concern. Yeah. Yeah, so we're doing our best um, to share information with the public and thank you for your platform and allowing us to do so. Um, but I trust that we will be okay. Yeah. The pleasure is all mine and you know, um, we have felt the love and we have felt the love through getting to know our family better through you, um, our family roots and, and, and history. And of course, through Brad with the music you know, so um, it's all about love, really. Music is the food of love, Amen. said Shakespeare. Right. And if music be the food of love, he says, play on, right? And in this case, we will say, and close our show by saying that we usually say, music, the food of love. You choose music, you choose to love. You choose to love God, first and foremost, 
you choose to love your country, your neighbor, as yourself. So you choose to love yourself and your neighbor. And once you've chosen to love and you just could spread the love, and love is always a choice. So because you choose to love, we say to you, Belize and beyond, thanks for choosing love. Celebration time! It don't matter what part of the jewel they come from. You that you and me that me. But guess what? All are we the ones.